StarCraft fans, this is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. This is a game between Towley and Jeff on King Sejon Station, the latter edition. In the top left side of the map, we have the Green Zerg player. It is Towley. And in the bottom right side of the map, we have the Blue Terran player. It is Jeff. Both of them from Psy Storm Gaming. Both of them GM level players. Very interested to show you this game today from the Terran and Zerg perspective. And let's get right on into it. Looks like Tally is going to go hatch first, which has been safe against Terran since the beginning of StarCraft II's existence, which was 2010? 2010? Yep, 2010. Barracks first from Jeff. Not really uh, a surprise unless he's going command center first after supply depot. Reaper. Reaper opening is still possible because there's a refinery here. And we'll see how the Green Zerg Tally responds to that Reaper. If it's anything like the standard, it's four slowlings and a queen. But hey, the extract there's the extractor. Extractor seems a little bit late here. That was about 18. About 18 uh, supply there. And the spawning pool is up here at 18 as well, 17. So a little bit later, a little bit more greedy out of Tally. Nothing too crazy, though. Though I think, don't think it's going to hurt, hurt him necessarily. Meanwhile, that is a Reaper opening. A Reaper opening from Jeff. Let's go ahead and dig deep into our list of Reaper names. And our next Reaper name is Reefer Reaper. Who gets two stoned to be able to be a Marine. So they made him a Reaper who only lives three in-game minutes anyway. <laughs> Alright, Reefer the Reaper. Uh, you, you couldn't cut it in Marine training. They needed you to be able to focus for longer than two and a half minutes. And you couldn't do it. You couldn't do it, so they put you in a Reaper suit, strapped a rocket pack to your back, gave you two guns, and said, go kill the Zerg, because you're going to die here in the next three minutes anyway. So let's see if that's true. It's He popped out at exactly two minutes, so if he can be alive at the five-minute mark, then you know what? The prophecy will have come true, and if not, then maybe Reaper showed those guys what's up, showed those guys at Terran Army training that he was more than just a guy who smokes a lot of weed. Okay, so he's trying to sneak on up here, and he's taking the direct route over to the Zerg base. He's here to scout. There are definitely some lings out there, some queens that are just about to pop at this moment. And there we go. Good job keeping the lings on the creep from Tally. Is he going to lose? Oh, drone. Can he get the drone kill? <gasps> he got a drone kill. Oh, Reefer, nicely done. Hopping into the main base now. We're going to try to kill some stuff in here. The queen is mad. Oh, the Reaper hopped on down. Hopped down, healed up with combat drugs. Go back in. Go back in, Reaper. You were doing so well. You pulled the queen out of position. You could have snuck back there if you wanted to, but no. He does not. Third hatch now on the way from Tally. Up in that very, very, very top north side of the map. Factory just about to complete from Jeff. And Stim is being researched. Come on. Come on, Reaper. Okay, he survived one minute. He survived one minute. That's good, but he's walking right up to this queen. Don't do that. That's not a good way to survive. Check for the third. Scout the third. Oh, he scouts the third like a boss. Like a boss, Reefer the Reaper scouts the third. Combat drugs healing him up from getting stabbed from a distance by that Queen Overlord here scouting the natural base for Jeff in this position that cannot be seen by the Terran player. See how sneaky that is? So darn sneaky. Come on. Come on, Reaper, Reaper. Let's do this thing. I don't know if it counts if you sit there for the next two minutes. You got to be doing something. You got to be going somewhere. Double pumping the Marines. We've got a factory with a reactor on it. I assume the reactor will swap onto that starport for some kind of a double marine drop based on the spill that Jeff is working on. And we got lings, we got queens knocking down the debris back here. And here he comes, Reefer the Reaper. He feels brave now at the 3 minute and 58 second mark. Gonna hop into the main base and you know what, there's not much here. There's a queen, but so what? Is he just scouting? Ah, oh, he's just scouting and he's stuck. Oh, get out, Reefer, get out. How many shots before he dies? Four hit points, he's alive. Four hit points. He is definitely alive. He's going to hop down at the safe way to get out of that main base. Down the little ledge. He checks to see. Yep, that debris is getting knocked down as well. He's scouting pretty well. He is scouting pretty well. The Zerg player is supply blocked just a tiny bit here, but now he is not. As he made a whole bunch of overlords. And they're starting to pop in now. So Lings and Queens knocking this down. Just because tanks in this position are very annoying to deal with as Zerg, they can hit one, of these, one or two of these mineral patches on this extractor. And if you have to go all the way around, all the way around like this to stop it, it's impossible. So spreading creep here, knocking down that debris, a very good opening decision from Tally. And here comes the double medevac drop, as I said just a couple of minutes ago. 26 lings on the way from Tally. Yo! 
Yo, is he being aggressive with these or is he staying home with these? I don't know. I do not know. It's 43 to 39 harvesters. Tally has a slight lead on his Terran opponent. Trying to boost on over. Trying to stay outside of the creep is what we're doing. Oh, Reefer. Reefer's alive. He survives and he's part of this army now. Oh, he says, hey, you Marines. Remember how you made fun of me back in training? Well, check me out. I'm with you guys now, but this Ling Queen defense is pretty intimidating from Tally. Jeff does not like what he sees there. Back's on out. Did he die? No, Reaper alive. Reaper alive. Reaper the Reaper. Doing some some fun stuff to not die thus far. Trying to take a fourth base exactly where this army is along the left side. Burning down one queen. Burning down two queens. Getting the creep tumors. Get the creep tumor. Doesn't get the creep tumor. Picks up. Boosts out queens. Trying to hit those medivacs. Can't quite get too many shots off on them. And the medivacs kind of boost away, but not really. Could drop in the natural, but the queens are up here as well. The lings are here. This creep spread, fantastic. Well, wonderful from the Tally. Spore crawler here from Tally at the same time. And undropping or unloading all those marines. And healing them up with their medevac healing powers. What's it called? It's called heal. There's not really a creative name for it. Baneling nest on the way from Tally. Lair coming up as well. Getting plus one, plus one for those lings. About 50% complete. Jeff is working on plus one weapons and plus one combat sh or armor and combat shield, which is closer than his opponent Tally is from getting those upgrades. Income tab, 47 to 48. Again, both players keeping very close. But this fourth base from Tally, if he holds this... He might be in a really good spot because I only see two bases from Jeff. Yes, he's got a third command center, orbital command. He's going to try to land it, I think, now that he has map control. Yes, he is. He's landing it over there, so he's not too far behind. Really not. Good scan, killing these creep tumors. Reefer, no, don't get surrounded. Reefer, Reefer dies. Six minutes, 49 seconds, and he ends up dead. Good stutter step here from Jeff, just murdering those lings. They don't have plus one, plus one yet. Which would be immensely useful in this situation, especially considering the Marines do have that plus one, plus one. Plus two, plus two is getting started immediately from Jeff. Small push on the right side, trying to track the third, but Ling's going to surround on that one and force a full retreat there. Pushing in again on the left side. He wants to get this hatch. If he can get it there. Slow bailings, but target firing those beautifully. One hit. There is one hit there that's forcing Jeff to retreat, but that initials, initial target firing on those bailings was beautiful. Beautiful. So he's got this small hit squad of five Marines coming in on the right side. Scanning, killing creep tumors. I'm going to predict the future on this one. Actually, does not scan at all. Instead, things show up, chase them away. Coming in from the left side. He's just going left, right, left, right. Anything to get the Zerg player inside his own base and not come to attack him, I suppose is what it is. These Lings getting a nice surround, but again, the pickup. Jeff is not wasting units here. He's keeping everybody alive that he possibly can. Killing creep tumors on the right side as well. Can he get this queen? He can get this queen. They have plus one, plus one. And the queen dies. Pick up, boost out, and nobody dies. Nobody dies. Medivac still alive with five marines on the inside. Coming in here again with a small, just a small group of marines. Killing queen. Nope, transfuse. Keeping it alive. And again, picking up. Just the continued harass by Jeff. Refusing to let any of his units die. Resources lost. 2,600 for Tally. 974 for Jeff. This overlord is still spotting stuff in the natural. For Tally, that's pretty funny stuff. Third base established for Jeff. He's got supply depots walling this left side. Counterattacks by Lings are very popular in this area. So I like the decision by Jeff to do that. Widow Mines now added to the army for Jeff. That plus two, plus two about to complete. He's going to have that Pult level plus three, plus three in 12 minutes type stuff here again. As he did in the previous game I cast of his. Killing more creep tumors. Bane Lings just melting these Marines though. Now that they have speed and especially on creep, Widow Mine. Oh, we don't mind killed a lot of those banelings. A lot. 4,400 resources lost for Tally. 1,600 for Jeff. The Marines trying to attack this third, but a good surround of lings and banes again. So Tally, I think, is defending well. I really do. He's just... He's not as effective as he could be. It's 47 to 77 army supply for Jeff. He's got the lead. He's basically tied with the Zerg at worker count. 68 to 66. Here's that ling counterattack I was telling you about, but they walk right into the meat grinder of Marines with plus two, plus two. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, Zerglings trying to come along this left side, as I said, and can't do it. Supply Depot wall is too strong. They're going to try to knock down the Supply Depot wall, but that allows Jeff to come in and shoo them away with his guns. And maybe they'll get a Supply Depot, maybe two, depending on the repair action here. Get it? Get the repair action here. Not going to get the repair action here. Another attack on the right side on that third. Fails, and the Supply Depot explodes. Jeff is not Supply Block, though, and I think this wall... Nope, that's not a wall anymore. That is definitely lingable. Ling squeezable is what I would say. And here comes Tally. Finally, with your aggression, Lings and Banelings trying to do this thing. Aspire on the way. Seems a little bit late. 
out of tally, unfortunately for him. Plus two, plus two for the Lings and the Banelings is completing, which tells me we might see Ultras here eventually. What a mind shot again. Just doing so well. Three to one resources lost in favor of Jeff right now. It's 2,000 for Jeff. 6,600 6, for Tally. Marines over here on the right side again being very patient. They want to get this hatchery, but Ling's getting the surround. Can they get the hatch? No! 76 hit points remaining. More Banelings just crashing on in here on top of these Marines. Widow mines exploding before they can do much of anything whatsoever. Running the Marines. Pick them up. They don't get picked up and they get killed instead. All right. Is there an Overseer? There is an Overseer. Okay. So Overseers clear out these Widow mines just on the edge of the creep for Tally spreading additional creep here. This reminds me of a, like a Snoot versus Polt game from a few months ago where Tal or Snoot was doing very well with his defense. He was getting Baneling hits. He was getting um, Lings. But the never ending flood of three base Marine Marauder Medivac out of Pult was insane, and maybe Jeff was inspired by, by that, maybe that's what he wanted to see, wanted to emulate, because that's exactly what he's doing, he's staying on the edge of this creep, letting Widow Mines explode on what they can, and just trying to do this thing with straight Marine Widow Mine, coming on in, trying to clear stuff out, pretty good splits, the Banelings making some good hits anyway there, it's 143 to 125 total supply, Banelings rolling on in, and as soon as this plus three, plus three is a thing, Jeff's going to be very powerful, and he's working on it, too. 11 and a half minutes in, that plus three attack is going to complete. He's really been working on this, but the Lings and Banelings are still flooding in here. Good stutter step backward here by Jeff. You need Infestors, I think is what you need, Tally. You need to make something, or need something to make these Marines hold still. That's what we're looking at. Baneling hit. No, everybody picks on up. Another attack on the right side here, but Baneling's clearing that one out. Oh, that third base is still alive with 110 hit points, but man, Jeff wants to kill that so bad. Wants to kill it so bad. It's four base to four base. That Spire is done for Towley. He has enough for some Banelings, but he's just sticking with his Ling Baneling stuff. I mean, it's working okay for him. He's extending off the creep a little bit more than I would like to see, but I think he's going to be all right with that. Fifth base, nope, fourth base by Hef. Jehef. Here on the high ground, leading out of his base, we've got three Marines along this right side. Are, are three Marines enough to kill this 122 hit point hatchery? Maybe. Maybe so. And yeah, plus three attack is finished here at 12 minutes. Plus three infantry armor will be close to three minutes. The Marines get it. Oh, let's watch that. Let's watch that little piece. Where are they? Where are you, Marines? You're waiting. You're stimming. You're taking your chance. And the Queen trying to stop this from happening, but no, Hatchery explodes. Ah, oh, the third base falls for Tally. Not a good feeling at all. And here comes Jeff again. He doesn't seem to have a lot of Marines, but he's trying to make it work. He keeps clearing back these Creep Tumors, which is nice, which is really good for him. Tally double expanding, retaking his third, taking a fourth, fifth base along this right side. Oh, get it gets canceled. Did he see... I don't know how we could have seen that. There's some Marines and a medevac on the high ground, but nothing to worry about there. Lings, Banes, the continued pressure here from Jeff. Good splits. Good preemptive splits against these Banes here, and the Banelings not wanting to quite engage. Corruptors out for Tally. I love that decision from him. Going up against these medevacs and continuing to push on in. Lings, Banelings going to explode. Yeah, I mean, it's just this eternal dance at the edge of the creep. Can Tally be cost effective enough with his banelings to where Jeff can't make this work but no Jeff suddenly still has a lot of marines after all the banelings are gone corruptors trying to kill these medevacs but marines burn them out of the sky those plus three plus three marines are so scary they can take baneling hits and not die and that's it a good game well a good game good game good from tally tally is defeated and Jeff is victorious well done by Jeff today getting the win for the Terran against the evil hated zerg just fantastic all the way around. Army supply at the end, 83 to 23. Resources lost here, 21,200 for Tally, only 11,000 for Jeff. Just beautiful overall. Tally ends the game with 18 lings and a baneling versus 33 marines, plus three, plus three marines, five marauders, four medevacs, and seven widow mines. So pretty low econ game. I mean, nobody really got a ton of workers. I guess Jeff did about, have about 70 towards the end. 67 is close enough. But yeah, just the double pronged harass, killing that third base, a huge deal. Forcing a cancel on this fifth base attempt, also a big deal. And then he pretty much had the fourth base dead to rights as well. And Tally knew it, so he tapped out. So nicely done by Psystorm Gaming, giving us an entertaining game today. And that's it from me. So this has been Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. 
You can also catch me on Twitter and Facebook, both at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself. Patrons! Nicholas Cheek, Sean Govin, Nick Riley, Josh Cornelius, Jin, Robert Farmer, KN, Matt Meermans, Huck on Marcus, Christopher, Alex Coffey, Ben Raboin, 19 Day, Kith Garlo, Alexander Canaris, Complex, Ian Westbrook, Michael McIntosh, Sam Estegoy, Bo Set, Kale Anderson, Trevor Smith, Manhattan, GMP, Sik Kupata, Pedro Batsaris, Michael Willen, Plaid, Henry Cooper, Clayton Knight, Jan Kodera, Kevin Chang, Rajiv Bhatt, link at the top right, thank you, bye.